Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing a bit of unboxing. And we got one of my favorite things, a package from China. So, what makes this even better than a package from China? It's got these plastic bandings on it. So, this means it must be a machine. So, let's go ahead. Let's uh, release it from its bindings and see what's in the box. Well, here we are, guys, and I got to tell you, I am not disappointed. Um, I am actually pleasantly surprised uh, with this. Now, just hopefully it all powers up and we will be good. What is it? Well, it's a micro mill. So I've been wanting one of these for a while and because uh, I want to do a CNC conversion. And I looked at several of these. And these seem to be rather prevalent in the market. You can get them on eBay, Amazon. And, and the prices kind of vary from around $190 to about $225. Now, I did some homework. Uh, there was a flash sale on this one. I got this guy for like around $190. And I'll have some uh, resource pages for the setup. And uh, again, when I was doing my homework, I, I was looking for a couple different things in doing the CNC conversion. One, it had to have the ability to mount a CNC motor rather easily. And as you can probably see from the screw mountings for this um, assembly, it, it is rather easy to, um, will be rather easy to mount a motor here. So uh, my plan is to spin some pieces out on the lathe, mount them in here, longer screws, remove this, mount motor. Pretty simple and straightforward. Um, the other thing I like is it comes with a vise. Uh, this is a pretty cool hokey little vise that slides. Um, it's got some, it looks like reasonable z-axis movement and design in here. It's based upon this larger maker scale rail here and you can kind of see, so you, we, we can kind of move it around and adjust it. Um, Notice it's kind of interesting, it only has one bracket on the back and not two, but that's okay. We can uh, make some adjustments to that in the future if we need. And again, you can see the uh, the slide here, so it's got the X slide and it's got the Z slide. Now, uh, sorry, Y, X, Z. I'll get it straight, it's early in the morning. Um, just got this in, and again, it's got this uh, wall wart type power supply that turns it on. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, use a garble controller that we uh, covered in another video to mount on here to actually drive the electronics or the stepper motors for this. Now, uh, if you, I don't know if you can see this, but <laughs> this guy's got a rather beefy uh, end mill on it already. I don't know if I would run such an end mill. Uh, size end mill. I'm looking at basically um, doing 1 8 uh, inch end mills and I think this has got a 6 millimeter I forgot the base in the box but back to this um, try and double check yeah that's a, this is a 6 millimeter end mill this is the same size end mill that my 800 watt water cooled uh, 3040 CNC has um, you know so I'll definitely probably get some collets or something to step this down to 1 8 rather than uh, 6 millimeters because it's pretty hefty but one of the things I did like about this you know check this out check out the size of the motor let's go ahead and remove this top assembly so it's rather interesting it's sort of like a sort of a T nut that holds it in here but Notice how beefy this motor is. It is a geared driven. They are metal gears, big plus, um, but this is a beefy motor uh, compared to many that I saw in, the, in this sort of price range that I was going to experiment with. And uh, it does come, oh, it does come with handles. It never shows the handles on the, um, on the websites, but it does come with handles, smell and wrenches and some other parts I have. Oh, it does come with another, it looks like collet, 
but it still looks like a six millimeter brass collet and a couple other pieces. I'm assuming predominantly to mount it to this um, uh, base because again we got this little quality assurance card from China which is great and then we got this whatever this means doesn't mean too much um, so somehow I'm assuming that this this mounts to this base and this provides some ex extra rigidity because this um, doesn't have a lot of rigidity as it sits and again, it looks like we have a pin for the machinist vise, but uh, the machinist vise even has some indexing over here, this little cheap machinist vise. So um, the, um, the slide movements, as you would expect, are pretty rough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these up and use some of that Teflon. I'll have a link below for the Teflon that I use for this type of stuff. It cleans it up just beautiful because uh, it does have the Chinese uh, grease on it. But uh, all in all, I'm pretty excited about this project. So I don't want to lose this piece. I'm going to move this over. Um, let's move this out of the way so we can get this kind of centered so you guys can see it. So anyways, I, I'm really excited about this project. And, and again, you know, if we look, um, I don't know if I can slide this past here. But the uh, vise opens up quite a ways. So we could probably get about two inches in this vise. We could probably get about two inches in the vise, um, you know, jaw width, and then obviously this way, and we can move this forward. Um, but again, for the quality versus 200 bucks, I am really excited because I've had a lot of fun playing with my other desktop CNC router, but I really wanted to do a mill and I wanted to do one in a standard mill fashion like this and so uh, again I'm pretty excited so we'll have to stay tuned I'm gonna do some uh, more videos on this I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this uh, probably micro mill so you can check in the playlist for um, the, the, the playlist for this because one of the things that I do for all my video series is set up playlists so anybody that wants to go uh, reference it can just simply go to the playlist and boom you have it so anyways I'm super stoked about this if you're stoked about it like I am give it a big thumbs up I'm excited do you have one of these what have you done have you done some mods if you've already done some mods I'd like to hear about it in the comments below please hit me up uh, because I will be doing a series on converting this to a CNC and it's a whole purpose of this and I guess we'll see as we start the conversion Swag shop on the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and the bell. And we'll see you guys as we start the conversion process. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.